Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be building my spring capsule wardrobe and I've already made part one of my spring capsule series. So in case you haven't checked out part one of the series yet, I'll link in the first video right here for you. So same as per usual, it's the inspiration, visual idea and sort of like my wardrobe plan for not only the spring season but actually the entire year because as many of you guys know I'm doing sort of a low buy challenge this year not sort of a low buy challenge I am doing a proper low buy challenge so I do have a set of rules that I'm gonna be following this year and I'm gonna keep my the amounts of purchases that I make this year on an absolute minimum so we're gonna say goodbye to the winter season and I am so ready I am not particularly tired of my winter wardrobe but at the same time I cannot wait to be reunited with some of my spring faves from previous seasons and I'm just like so ready to say goodbye to the winter season so super excited spring is definitely one of my favorite seasons I love being able to play with layers I love when you when you're able to go outside without a thousand layers and when you can pack all of like the heavy winter stuff away so I'm very excited to get started and to really dig into my wardrobe so I thought before emptying my wardrobe completely and giving sort of like the closet space a bit of a spring clean I just wanted to bring you guys a bit closer and to have a look at this current situation and the current state of my wardrobe. All right, so for those of you who want a full wardrobe tour, I will link one on the screen for you right here so you can see how I've sort of structured my capsule wardrobe. But basically I have my stored items up there and then I have some more items in the hallway like coats and shoes and stuff like that that can't really fit into these. So that's sort of the way that I work around it and you can obviously do it as it suits you and whatever closet spaces or if you have an attic or a basement or whatever, do what feels right for you. So the way I've parted things in my wardrobe is that I have all of my everyday wear over here, I have some everyday knitwear over here and then I have some of my wool coats, usually these are actually in the hallway because that's where I tend to get dressed but sometimes I do sneak in here if there's no more room in the hallway. Um, so I have a couple of my everyday winter coats here as well and then like I said I have all of my everyday wear over here and then I have some everyday shoes on the bottom shelf right here. So it looks pretty all right in here, there's like small things like the knitwear is not completely like neatly laid out right here. You can definitely see that I've been wearing these in he on heavy rotation. Um, and then there's also things like these, this pair of jeans right here is hanging inside out and that sort of thing just bugs me. So there's little things that I just need to sort out today. And then like I said, over here on this section, I have a couple of my everyday coats hanging right here, but then I actually have like my occasion wear in this section right here. So I kind of like that this wardrobe that we've chosen is parted right there so that I can keep my occasion wear parted from my everyday wear. And I actually haven't really touched my occasion wear since the start of December, so I have a lot of things in here that are very festive season. So I have this beaded top right here, I have this glitter top, I have some sequins here, I have this vintage faux fur coat, which I have been wearing on a daily basis every once in a while as well, so not only for the festive season, but I haven't touched this in a while and I think it could definitely do with a spring rejig and yeah, I just need to go through that and store away the items that are very like December and very Christmassy, very New Year's. Um, this place that I have hanging right here is a new purchase for my spring capsule and I'll show you that as we go along in the video, but I've just hung it right here because I bought it recently and I didn't want to pack it away just to bring it out again. So that is the situation. I have my occasion wear shoes down there. I just need to go through them as well. I have some mess down there. So in general, I just need to sort of tidy up things real good, maybe reorganize some things. closet is nice and empty all besides my sportswear my loungewear and my underwear which I have in these drawers right here and then I have my storage shoes down here and then yeah I have my storage boxes up there so I'm gonna try and tackle this situation that I have on the bed right now <laughs> on the floor as well I have all the shoes down here and I'm obviously gonna be packing away all of the things that are very like heavy for like the winter season and then I'm gonna be holding on to items that are just in heavy rotation that I want to wear through the spring season as well. And uh, all of the things that I need to wash or 
fix or anything like that I'd always recommend you guys to pile that up like make a pile for those kind of items and then deal with that some other day I just picked up a pair of boots from the cobblers today for example actually my beloved acne studios boots I dropped them off last week because they were in need of a good round at the cobblers at the sole were coming loose at the front here as well so just pick those up today they're already a bit dirty because I've been wearing them um but things like that I definitely recommend that you pile them up gather them up and then find a day to deal with those sort of things jumpers that needs to be debobbled or anything like that I would deal with all of that before packing them away so that they're nice and fresh for next time you want to reach for them. So I'm gonna start putting things back into the wardrobe. Now I'm just gonna start with my jewelry drawers here. These are just from Ikea, by the way, um, because I know that I definitely want to keep those in my wardrobe. And they're already looking nice and neat, as you might be able to tell. I'm just gonna place them right here. I just went and got my phone, and as many of you guys know, I love using the Cladwell app to built my capsule wardrobes visually. Yeah, just so I can see how everything looks together. And as you might know, the app is also able to generate automatic outfits so you can see how everything looks together. And if there's a sort of item you are considering adding to your wardrobe, you can see how it looks with the things you already have. So I'm a huge fan of this app and I still use it, especially around the time where I do my wardrobe switch over no matter what season it is. I'm just gonna try and follow the things that I've put in here because I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks right now. But if I stumble upon something in storage that I really feel like wearing this season, I'll of course add it to my wardrobe and to my visual wardrobe in the Cladwell app as well. So that's sort of how I like to go about it when I do my wardrobe switch over. So I think I'm gonna move on with all of my basics now and in case you want to have a better look at my all year basics or kind of like my go-to when it comes to basics, I will put in the overview right here. If you're a long time follower, you've probably seen it a hundred times. Um, and I do switch up my basics from season to season. So I might just put all of like my basics, the basics that I have right now, back into the wardrobe and then as I go through my storage I might switch out some things here and there if there's something that's a bit too similar to each other or something that I just feel like a, taking a break from wearing and then wearing something else from a previous season I will do that as we go along but I just think it's easier to work around it like this um, at least for me and the style that I have I have a very casual and a very sort of like basic style So I'm just putting in my, my basic selection of, of trousers. If I do say so myself, I find that I do have a very well curated selection of jeans and pants already. They're all rather different from one another. Yeah, they sort of like add on to my wardrobe in each their own way, which I think is really important. The only two pairs of jeans that I have in my wardrobe that are very, very similar to each other is um, these two pairs of black skinny jeans. And the only difference between the two is that there's a busted knee on one pair and not on the others. And it's just because sometimes I'm in the mood for wearing a pair of distressed denims, like a, a black pair of jeans with a, with a busted knee. I think it looks so cool on some days and then on other days I just want to wear something completely simple. So those are all of my basics. As you might be able to tell, I love hanging my wardrobe sort of like color coordinated. Um, and you can do that as you like. Obviously you can hang all your t-shirts together and all of your shirts together. So it's more like a product category hanging together. I just like how it looks visually when it's sort of more color coordinated. I also have two versions of a white shirt in my wardrobe. Some of you might remember that I bought this one from Armed Angels last year. And it was sort of like a mistake purchase, to be honest, because I actually thought it was more of like a classic shirt with buttons and everything. And uh, yeah, I just haven't been wearing it all that much because the fit is very oversized. It has, it looks amazing when you're wearing it with, you know, just the shirt and a pair of jeans, but you can't really wear a jacket on top of it because it's super oversized. It looks weird and bulky and it just doesn't work for my wardrobe. So I might pack this away for now and then take a rain check some other time, see if I still feel like wearing it, maybe I'll make it part of my occasion wear wardrobe, who knows. I'll definitely store it away for a while and then think about that some other time, otherwise I might donate or sell that one. And then I have another shirt here, which is actually a men's shirt. And I stole this one from Morten's closet. <laughs> I actually borrowed it from him one time and he was like, 
you know what, you can just keep it because I never wear it. So this one is perfect. So thank you, Modern, for letting me have this one. And I think I'm gonna be tackling this pile right here now, which is all of my occasion wear. And I'm definitely gonna be storing away all these items that have glitter in them because to me, I don't really wear them all throughout the year. I tend to reach more for those through the festive season. So I'm definitely gonna put back in these super old trousers from H&M, which is just a basic pair of um, dress pants with a little slit towards the hemline. I love wearing these for special occasions. Another thing that I'm definitely gonna hold on to is this pleated skirt. So that's sort of like the basic bottoms sorted for me. Then I have some camisoles here. I have a white cami, always a winner. I have a silk cami somewhere, lace trim camisole as well, dark blue silk cami as well. So definitely camisoles are a go-to for me when it comes to occasion wear. Um, I find them so cute and just easy to wear on a, on a special occasion. I have my little black dress and this actually used to be part of, of like my everyday all year basic wardrobe, but I don't wear dresses that much. So I just decided to make this more part of my occasion wear capsule so that when it hangs over here with my everyday wear, I'll sort of like feel guilty for not wearing it. But when it hangs over here with my special occasion wear that I don't reach for that often and that I don't have to think so much about, I sort of don't feel that same kind of guilt. Then I have some different tops to choose from here and I've taken away all of the glittery items that are more festive for me. So I have this pajama style shirt. I have a lace blouse here as well. And then I have this another black blouse with sort of like these cute buttons up here. I think I'm gonna put in this silk shirt because it's light. It's another color, like these are all black and this sort of fills up a, a different need for me. So I'm gonna hang that one back in and then I'm just gonna decide between these three. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the lace blouse and then this pajama style blouse because I feel like these are, I know they're both black blouses, but I still feel like they're sort of different. And the cool thing about this section that I have here is that you can wear all of the tops with either the skirt or the dress pants. So you have some different outfit combinations here, but it's still really simple. But I know there's something I can count on in this little section if I have a special event coming up. So I think that is the occasion where capsule is sorted. It already looks a lot more neat and tidy than before. Love it. So these are all things that I'm definitely going to store away. Brown blazer, I still love this one, but I just feel like taking a break from it, especially because I've been going for this really brown autumnal look for my winter capsule. And I'm just, I'm not over it, but I just need a break from it. I'm all about that light blue, more spring kind of vibe for this season. So I want to pack these brown items away. The same with the brown jumper here. Absolutely love it but it's more suitable for the autumn and winter season, in my opinion. Um, then I have some really heavy knitwear down here. I'm gonna pack that away as well, because hopefully we soon won't be needing that anyway. I have all of those glitter tops from my occasion wear capsule that I mentioned before. I think now I'm just gonna get these boxes down and have a look through them. I'm also gonna be bringing some of the coats that I've stored away in the hallway from previous seasons in here and then look through them and see if there's something that I want to make part of my spring capsule. So I will be right back. I'm back. A lot of favorites here and it's gonna be hard to choose, but it's all about practicing the art of limitation, right? So I'm gonna go through them now and show you what I kind of have in mind for this spring capsule. So I think, should we just go through all of the knitwear? Yeah. So just be aware that some of these items probably need a good round of steaming because they have been in storage boxes, but I will do that after filming this video for sure. Um, so just be aware that some of these items might be a bit creased. The next item is this absolutely gorgeous cardigan from Everlane. This is part of their um, re-cashmere range and I got this as part of a collaboration that I did with them last year and I just love the color, love wearing it with a pair of jeans like those that I'm wearing today, just tucked into the jeans. I think it's so elegant, so chic. I feel like it's always nice to have a great selection of jumpers, at least in my wardrobe again, because I have a very casual style and most days I will just wear a t-shirt and a pair of jeans or jumper and a pair of jeans. Um, that's what I've been wearing on rotation all through the winter season as well. That's part of the reason why I had so many different jumpers 
to choose from and also part of the reason why I want to have some different jumpers to choose from in the spring season because obviously the weather can be sort of unsteady um, so I want to make sure that I have some pieces I can layer up with if it gets a bit nippy. Another old favorite is this striped top from People Tree. I think I got this two years or three years ago now. Can't really remember two or three years ago but it's definitely a fave for me. I love stripes. Um, I already have this classic Breton stripe top in my wardrobe, but this will sort of be a nice alternative to that. Also a great way to bring in some pop of color to my wardrobe. Finally for knitwear, I have another old favorite, this good old jumper that if you're a long time follower, you've probably seen this before. My good old red jumper, which looks a lot more red on the viewfinder than it actually is in real life. Um, it's this lovely deep red color. Again, a nice way of bringing a pop of color into my wardrobe and I can wear this with everything I have in my wardrobe because I have all neutrals, all these monochrome colors. So let's move on to a couple of tops here. I have a light blue linen shirt which I tend to go for mostly during the summer season because linen is just wonderful to wear during the summer season but I love this color I think it complements my skin tone really well and it kind of goes well with this whole like light blue and beige color mood that I'm so inspired by this season I might actually replace that with this denim shirt that I have in my all your basic wardrobe just because I can't really justify wearing both of these I know it's not 100% the same color, but they still kind of do the same thing. So I think I'm going to store this baby away for a while and then bring this lighter version out for the spring and summer season. That's definitely one of those items that needs to be steamed before I can wear it. So I have a couple of t-shirts here. Um, and again, t-shirts are really basic for me unless there's some sort of a print on them. And it's the case with both of these t-shirts. I have this one from People Tree, which says, be happy. Might hang this in together with my selection of white basic t-shirts. And then this one I had in my winter capsule wardrobe as well. This was something that I picked up in Rocket Vintage in London last year. So it's a really nice, very soft vintage t-shirt with this edgy motif on it. And yeah, I like this, this edgy sort of vibe that this t-shirt has. So I actually have one dress here and um, I know, shocker, I don't really wear dresses, but I have a dress. Again, this is super creased because it's been packed away, so please look beyond that. But some of you might already have seen this. This is the vintage dress that I picked up when I was in Berlin recently. This really, really cute sort of like tea dress with buttons down the front here. It has this bow tie at the back as well and I just love it. I cannot wait to start wearing this and I'm not 100% sure yet if I want to keep it out for my spring capsule or I want to store it away just for this season and then wait until the summer season. I think there's some styling and some playing around with this dress I need to like put into the whole thing um, because my idea was kind of like I wanted to be able to wear this with a pair of skinny jeans underneath it and then layer a blazer or a biker jacket or something like that on top. Gonna play around with it and see if I can already now start wearing it. So I have a pair of culotte style jeans here that I absolutely love. These are a cropped fit. Um, and I got these from Everlane as part of a collaboration that I did with them last year. And I've been so excited to bring these back out from storage. I love them. Love the slightly unflattering fit that they have on me. I don't care if they make me shorter. I just care about the way that I feel when I wear these jeans and I feel amazing. I know that I have quite a handful of jeans and pants in my wardrobe now, but like I mentioned before, I feel like if this if it's something that you wear a lot on heavy rotation, it's nice to have some different options to go for if you make sure that the different styles are definitely different from each other and that you don't have five pairs of the same jeans, if you know what I mean. So we obviously have the light blue blazer that I mentioned in the start of this video. I'm gonna change up the buttons here. I actually went down to the local like fabric store today to pick up some light blue buttons that I'm gonna exchange these with because these are just a bit too heavy for me. I don't really like how they sit on the blazer as well. Um, but this is a new purchase. I bought this on um, Trend Sales, which is a Danish secondhand website. And uh, it's from Gany and I absolutely love it. It's everything that I've been looking for. I've been wanting to add a light blue blazer to my wardrobe um, since the start of this year and I do have two blazers in my basic wardrobe already that I like to wear a lot. So it's going to be nice to have a different option. And that right here. 
Then we have this baby, which I bought last spring, my beige biker jacket. This is another secondhand purchase and I love this. Again, I'm really into the, to the neutrals, especially during the spring season because it just lightens everything up. And it's just a nice alternative to my classic black biker jacket. It's nice to have some different options to go for. So another coat that I'm definitely also bringing out to play this season is my trench coat from Everlane, which I've had for three years, I think. Absolutely love this coat and I just stored it away for the winter season because it's obviously too thin to wear through the winter season, but it's a great stable. This is just such an easy throw on piece. It's really practical because it's actually water repellent, but at the same time, it's just so classic and chic and I just love it. Then I have two more jackets, believe it or not, and I don't know if it's a bit too excessive, um, but again, I just like to have some different light jackets to choose from, to throw on over, like a basic jeans and tee combo, but still feel that there's something different going on. And I feel like a, a jacket of some sort can always do that for me, so that's why I like to opt for some different options in that whole category. Um, so I have my leopard jacket here that I also had in my autumn capsule, I also had it in my winter capsule, this is a secondhand find and I love it. And then I have this baby right here which is a jacket that I picked up in Beyond Retro in London last year and it's just giving me all of those like Anina Bing vibes. But I'm just not completely sure if I will be wearing it a lot. I think I still need to sort of play around with these two jackets and see if I really need to make both of them part of my spring capsule or if I will have too many options. So I just brought all of my boxes with shoes, like storage shoes out and just went through them all real quickly. And I think I've actually decided to store these away, these Oxfords right here. And then I'm gonna bring out, I'm sorry, these look disgusting, please look beyond that. Um, I'm gonna bring out these leopard flats instead and then also my nude boots from Acne Studios that I bought pre-loved last year because I just think that is such a lovely selection of spring shoes They're gonna add some lightness to my wardrobe and I just think that I'm gonna be reaching a lot more for these flats than I'm gonna be reaching for these. I actually just decided to do something different with my wardrobe So I took all of my jeans off the hangers all of my jeans and trousers off hangers And then I put them on this shelf instead because it was getting a bit tight and a bit crammed in there and I like to have some space between my hangers here just to make sure everything stays neat and tidy and doesn't get super creased and things like that. So I like to have some air between the hangers. Um, I think it looks super nice and tidy now. I put up the storage boxes up there again and yeah, I'm really liking the way that it looks and definitely feels a lot more refreshing and inspiring to look inside of my wardrobe right now. So that is it for today's video, guys. I'm all out of breath. That took me around two hours to get my wardrobe sorted and cleaned and everything. Um, I always love going through my wardrobe every three seasons when I have to change up my capsule wardrobes because it just allows me to get reunited with some of my old faves, give some other faves a break and then just refresh my wardrobe a bit. I love it and that's one of the reasons I love a capsule wardrobe is the sense of me having the possibility of shopping my own wardrobe without actually shopping and spending a lot of money and wasting a lot of resources. So I love this way of structuring my wardrobe. I've been doing this for four years and I can't really see myself doing it any differently, um, at least not by now. I love the capsule wardrobe system and I highly recommend it if you've never tried it before. I'm gonna link a bunch of how to get started with the capsule wardrobe system guides that I've written in the past down below for you. So in case this is all new to you, you have a lot of content there to go have a look at. Um, there's everything from how to declutter your wardrobe, how to decide what to keep and what to part with, how to find your style, how to figure out how to add colors to your wardrobe, how to get started basically. So I have a lot of guides, so do make sure to check those out in the description box down below after watching this video. <sighs> I think I need to get myself outside because it's actually a really lovely sunny day. I need to go get some fresh air. <laughs> Um, after this whole workload. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited for the spring season. I can't wait for warmer weather. And if you want to see how I style up my wardrobe, make sure you follow me over on Instagram for daily outfit updates as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day and I will see you soon for another one. Bye guys.